Okay, we are back. Uh, we're going to have a look at one of Pippi's favourite films. Uh, it's about some of her relatives. And we're going to have a look, of course, the best werewolf film of all time, an American werewolf in London, this new Steelbook edition. Now, I'm sure plenty of people will disagree with me, but I think the werewolf uh, genre is one of the poorest uh, represented uh, sort of subgenres in horror. Uh, very few uh, decent films, and this is, to be honest, this is the only one I like enough to own. Um, there's been some other uh, werewolf films which I've enjoyed in part. I really like the first two-thirds of Wolf with Jack Nicholson, but then the last third is so so poorly done, it makes the whole film unwatchable. There's some moments in The Howling that work, but it hasn't aged that well. This film here has got an interesting bent on the whole thing, uh, really interesting take on uh, on what he goes through after being bit, and uh, still some of the great greatest practical uh, effects for werewolf transformation ever seen. Uh, if anyone ever saw the uh, the sequel, American Werewolf from Paris, where they use CGI, well, that's that's terrible. Practical effects the way to go, pretty much always. So this is the. Uh, the new stylized cover, which uh, I think some people, I read some people didn't really care for it, but I much prefer it to the uh, the cover of uh, the Full Moon Edition, which is what this disc is. It's the American Werewolf in London Full Moon Edition, so it has all the same special features as uh, the previous edition. And on the back, it just says that. Now, in case you weren't aware of what was already on the special edition, there's... Uh, uh, Beware of the Moon, it's an hour and 37 minute documentary on the making of the film, very in depth, it's very good, it's only in standard definition. I Walked with the Werewolf, it's a seven and a half minute uh, featurette in uh, 1080i about the uh, transformation sequences, which is also very good. I've seen all of the special features, the only thing I haven't checked out is the commentary. It has a feature commentary with cast members David Norton and Griffin Dunn. Griffin Dunn, of course, uh, being the star of this film, but he's also the star of one of my other favourites after hours with Martin Scorsese. Uh, Making of American Werewolf in London, the original featurette, five and a half minutes, an interview with John Landis, he's the director, 18 minutes and uh, 20 seconds. Uh, Makeup artist Rick Baker in American Werewolf in London, it's another 11 minute uh, feature on makeup effects. Uh, casting of the Hand, archival footage from Rick Baker's workshop as they uh, cast Dave Norton's Hand in 1980. And when they say casting, they mean uh, putting his hand inside uh, material to make a cast, a rubber cast of, of the shape of his hand. Um, outtakes, uh, it's only about three minutes worth of outtakes. Storyboards, uh, two and a half minutes of storyboards, and photograph montage, uh, which runs almost four minutes. I, I didn't actually look at that. I'm never interested in uh, photos, really. The picture, uh, I've seen a lot of reviews which don't really rate the, pic the picture quality of American Wolf in London. It was shot on uh, very gritty grainy stock, not definitely not a fine grained stock, and I think this is uh, shows that quite uh, authentically. And but I always thought the colours are strong and 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 it looks pretty good. It certainly look, looks better as it goes on. Um, the start is probably the shakiest part. It also has. 5.1 audio. It's on a 50 gigabyte disc and it is region free so certainly if you haven't already got it and you like steelbooks in general and you like the artwork on this it's worth picking up. There's nothing inside as you saw before so it's just what you see here. It did come with a paper slip I've got it in the other room actually with uh, which just has some photos and um, the list of the special features, but uh, I always remove those and I put them all in a, in a box in the other room. So there you have it, American Werewolf in London, the best werewolf film, possibly the only great werewolf film. Go get it.